What up, my fellow Virgos? I'm Jeannie. Welcome back to Magenta Tarot Messages. We're going to be doing a little quick love reading for you. See what's in your energy, what you're dealing with, what you're going on. I've already shouted over this and you already know what it is. So let's just begin. I like to thank everybody for those likes, comments, subscribes, spreading those personal readings with me. And just being here and giving me a real good, 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 good energy. We have death. Okay. I'm learning that endings are merely a new beginning. Bottom of the deck, we have courage. I find the inner strength to face the fears with confidence. All right. So that's that energy. Love reading for you. <clears throat> Something's definitely ending. Okay. There was an ending. All right. Or there is a new beginning happening for you. Okay. Let's see. We're going in love. We have discriminate, discernment. I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> the letters match the background. And I couldn't read. Discernment. So you are definitely trying to discern who you have a new beginning with. All right. I feel like you just went through an ending, okay? Or it could have possibly ended out something you thought was going to be something else. And now you're looking for a new beginning, Virgo. And then we have inner journey. Number six and 35 could be significant for you. The letters N, A, R could be significant for you. X could be significant as well here. All right, but there is some type of inner journey that you're going through at this time. I feel like Virgo, you are trying to definitely end out a situation here. <laughs> Bottom of the deck, we have the Page of Pentacles, the Two of Pentacles, and the Strength card, King of Cups. Okay, you're definitely trying to end out a situation here. There's somebody who there's a there's a love option that you could have just ended, Virgo. Somebody's still in an illusion that they can take control of the situation. All right, with the Five of Pentacles and the Page of Swords. Somebody here is being left out in the cold. This is that death energy. Somebody you're not talking to, not in communication with is being left out in the cold. But this person is still watching you. This energy is still watching you. Or this could be your energy, Virgo. You could have some type of illusion that... Or you could be going towards other love options and taking control of your life because there's somebody you left out in the cold or you're left out in the cold by somebody and you learned a lesson or you're watching... The but I feel like this is somebody else's energy based off the other cards here that we'll get to. With the death with the devil card and the ace of swords, somebody is obsessed with having a breakthrough. Okay. They're obsessed with having some type of success with you, obsessed with facing some type of problem. This is somebody who's not willing to give up at this time. Um, Virgo, you're going through this inner journey. You're being discerning about who you deal with. You could that's why. You're being discerning because this person could be very toxic, Virgo, with a devil card. They could be very obsessive here. It's the energy of you knowing that you have to take a personal journey away from this person. All right, go inwards, not communicate with this energy, not talk to this person. So we have the four of swords and the eight of pentacles. Somebody is taking a break from working here. It's the energy of I'm no longer giving to the situation. I'm rejuvenating in a journey. I'm taking care of myself. I'm recharging myself here. And the eight of pentacles is I am taking a break from working hard in a relationship that's not going to work with a toxic person who wants it to work, who's obsessed with it working, and it's not working, have enough discernment to let shit die, and this person wants to keep it going, but I ain't got the time and energy for that, Virgo. With a page of wands, the two of pentacles, and the strength card, you may have gotten some type of message that this person was juggling in some type of way. Okay, and that's why you have to take control of the situation. That's why you have to have self-control here. This person may have juggled you. Um, you also could have gotten news that... With the Page of Wands energy, it's also like... 
a spark, a message. Somebody could have messaged you. This person could be messaging you trying to adapt the situation. But with the strength card here, either this person is trying to hold back and have some type of discernment and not do this. Or um, Virgo, this is you. Who, when you get a message from this person wanting to fix things with you, you might hold back from the situation. You might have more self-control than to reply to this person because you have discernment now about their energy. With the Three of Cups, the Seven of Pentacles, and the Ace of Pentacles, there is somebody here that is still in the energy of wanting to collaborate with you. Okay, They want to gather with you. They want to celebrate with you. They want to be friends. Seven of Pentacles, they're fighting. They're doing hard work. They want to give you something okay because we have the seven of pentacles and the ace of pentacles making the eight of pentacles where you're taking a break from working on the situation this person is now stepping up wanting to work on the situation they also want to preserve this by giving to you they could be like in this love bomber energy thinking if they gave you some type of large amount of money a large gift if they gave to you in some type of way that that would help you um open back up to them I feel like that is definitely not what's going to happen here, Virgo. Tell me about the King of Wands. We have the Eight of Wands. Yeah, this person is wanting to move forward. They want to have some type of communication. They want to do this quickly. Yeah, they're feeling fire. They're feeling left out in the cold. They're watching you. Two of Cups energy. They want to be in a relationship with you, or they could be watching you have a new beginning in love. Be could be wondering um, if you are with someone, Virgo. The Magician, the Devil card, the Ace of Swords, and the Magician. This person is trying to manifest something, manifest a breakthrough. They're so obsessive. They're thinking about it, putting so much energy into it. Um, this is somebody who is trying to bring about a new beginning, bring about something here, trying to get something out of you, Virgo, the Hermit. I can't make this up. The Four of Swords, the Eight of Pentacles this is your energy. You are saying, I'm taking a break from working on this. I'm no longer doing any hard work with the Hermit card. You may be isolating. You may be ghosting from this person. Or the roles could be reversed. Take it as it resonates here. We have the Knight of Swords, the Star card. And the Nine of Pentacles. Somebody here wants some type of news. They want, they're going to be messaging you, trying to um, balance the situation by telling you that they have more self-control, that they've learned a the lesson in some type of way. This is an impulsive knee-jerk reaction to get you to heal something with them, Virgo, because they see you in this energy, Nine of Pentacles. They see you single, uh, okay? They see you self-sufficient and they see that you aren't going to come towards them so they're going to have to message you so there's somebody here who is feeling the death of a situation they know that you're not going to reach out to them so they know that they're going to have to take that step and reach out to you eventually justice card and the empress somebody here virgo with the seven of pinnacles the three of cups the three of cups the seven of pinnacles it's the energy of somebody wanting to gather to work on things, all right. They could be in the community trying to work hard on bringing some type of offer, bring it about a new situation. We have the justice card and the empress to clarify that energy. Somebody here is bringing about a new opportunity to maybe bring fairness and balance into the situation. The Empress, so towards the Empress, somebody sees you as a mother figure or a feminine, a divine feminine. They see you as abundant, all right? Um, and they know they have to work hard to bring something towards you. Whether that may be with a legal situation or giving to you to make things balance. Somebody knows that they haven't given to you, they haven't done the right things here, Um like I said, they know they fucked up and this is the energy of somebody who is not willing to give up at this time. All right, we're going to get what's going to happen in the near future with this energy. I want to get something for their energy here. What is their energy? 
what is that energy presenting as? Their energy presenting as. I just heard I love you for infinity. Okay, that courage card came out. I don't know if you saw at the beginning of the reading, the courage card was at the bottom. I shuffled and then I pulled it here, Virgo. This person says, I find the inner strength to face fear with confidence. And then we have the inner journey here. So this is their energy. You're having discernment over this death. And this person is going through an inner journey where they are trying to find the, find the strength to face you. Um, and face the consequences of the actions. There is somebody here who maybe has a fear of coming towards you. They're scared it's not going to work out, Virgo. But eventually this person is going to send you a message to try to balance out things. Because they're going to see that you're not taking any action towards them. person's future action towards Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Dark Node, Venus. What is this person's future actions towards Virgo? See the color yellow? Somebody could like sunflowers. That could be your favorite flower. Their future action towards you... major arcanas here we go their future action towards you is the ten of pentacles a large contribution somebody wants to find financial stability they want to find um legacy it's almost like they feel like coming towards you will get them some type of ten of pentacles situation whether that's a contribution financial stability get them to see some type of inheritance get them to um, be connected to you in some type of way and be okay um, financially, mentally, physically here. Uh, with the chariot and the star card, somebody's going to come towards you trying to heal a situation. They may have to drive, um, fly, take a boat, take some type of action with the chariot here that involves them going in a direction and taking action towards a direction that could be in a different area than you, Virgo. With the star card here, they see you as somebody worth it. They have hope that this would go through. Um, they have hope that they can renew something with you. They, they can have a breakthrough with you in some type of way. The magician in the wheel of fortune. This person is trying to manifest change as their future action towards you. All right, and we saw that with the change card here. The Eight of Pentacles, the Four of Swords, and the World card. Somebody is working on ending a situation in order to complete something. So they want to end out the situation where you guys are not talking to uh, to complete somebody something with you. This is somebody who is watching you and... Um, is wanting to take action in the future, okay? So they're watching you at this time. Their future action is to watch you. Um, but with the King of Wands and the Three of Sw Three of Wands energy, this is somebody who will be taking action in the future. This is somebody who will have to take control of the situation once they realize that you're not going to do anything, Virgo. All right. Let's see how Virgo feels about this person. We have the death card and discernment, so I already know. <laughs> uh, how does Virgo feel about this person? I'm just getting the one, two, three, one, two, three, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, three. I wanna swing from the da 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 from the chandelier. I don't know what sign that is. <laughs> Comment if you know. Nine of Cups, the Fool card, the Six of Pentacles, Virgo. 
discernment about this death. I'm telling you, Virgo, you are mediating, you're following your heart into a new beginning that will be more generous towards you, that will bring more charity, that you will receive more support, that you will um, receive more from, period. Um, I feel like you feel like this person was breadcoming you. They have nothing to offer. They have nothing to do with you. That's why you're discernment about letting this in. Because what the fuck they going to do for you? Nothing. Um, Virgo, it's the energy of balancing between your intuition and having a breakthrough here. All right, balancing out who you give to. And that's why... This is the energy, Virgo. You are making that decision to stay quiet here with the high priestess, to remain secret, to remain quiet, not to talk to this person, not to let them know any of your secrets or any um, information about you, your family, where you're at. Um, I heard names and dates are significant here. Don't tell anybody. Change the names and dates of something, okay? Um, don't tell anybody names and dates. Stay quiet on names and dates when you're going to have a new beginning here. Okay. Or something that's coming into a new beginning. Don't tell anybody about an egg hatching. Okay. So if you um have started a new business, you started something new, you're doing something new. You're choosing to change something, Virgo. Stay quiet about that. Don't tell anybody about this. There's something about them needing your information in order for them to have a breakthrough. <laughs> and that's why they're going to have to message you in the future. Um, it's giving that you have the upper hand in some type of situation. But anyways, with the high priestess, you listening to your intuition is going to give you victory. All right. You staying quiet is going to give you more victory than dealing with this person. Oh, yeah. Spirit wants you to leave this person out in the cold with the five of pentacles. Don't tell them nothing. I'm telling you, there's something about not expressing names and dates and in, in, in your job, your location. There's there's something about not giving them any information, period. Don't even message them. For forever, Virgo, forever, forever. This shit is dead. Use your discernment and don't message them at all this shit is dead all right um temperance card here your angels could be uh, leading you towards just like leaving this person out completely if you impulsively go towards this person listen to the love option you will regret it Okay, it will be regret here. So that's the energy, Virgo. Um, stay having discernment about this death. Somebody wants to have the courage to come towards you in some type of way. Virgo, they're waiting for something. They're waiting for you. And once they see that you're not going to come towards them, they'll eventually come towards you, Virgo. But Spirit is urging you when this person does come towards you to leave them out in the cold. Don't talk, talk, don't, la, la, la. don't talk to them. Don't tell them nothing. Don't give them this is like a stalker, like somebody who could do something with your information. Spirit really wants you to be discerning about what you tell this person, how you reply. If you reply at all, Virgo, because you will be disappointed if you take some type of step with this person. If you believe them, I feel like this person is going to come towards you with some message of good news, trying to pretend they're in different energy, trying to pretend that they love you, blah, 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 trying to pretend like they have something for you, Virgo. And if you impulsively go towards this energy, you will regret it, okay? Learn from this death. Go towards new beginnings always. And from this point on, do not go backwards. This is what I got here for the Virgos. If you resonated with anything here, please give me a like, comment down below. Subscribe to the channel to see what's coming up next for the Virgos. And y'all already know. I'm very grateful and thankful for everybody watching. Peace.